A grand jury declines to charge a driver who plowed through a MoDOT work site, killing two and permanently injuring another man. Now the St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office is sharing some details about why this decision was made. Five on your side's Ryan Henson joins us live from Telegraph and I-255 in South County where that crash happened. Well, and Prosecutor Bell's office said that evidence and experts showed that the diabetic man behind the wheel was having a medical episode during the crash, and that led to a lot of the tragedy that we saw today. But all those facts aside, it still doesn't make the families of those grieving the people that lost feel any better today, even after this decision. Now, this all happened back in November here where I'm standing on Telegraph Road and I-255, and it cost a lot. That accident cost the lives of 58-year-old James Brooks, 25-year-old Caitlin Anderson, and our unborn son, Jax. It also permanently injured another man. Prosecutor Bell's office says the driver had a similar accident months before, that time without injury. Anderson's family is upset the driver was allowed back behind the wheel knowing his medical condition and that he hasn't reached out directly to the family with condolences. Anderson's aunts also wish MoDOT would have had more safety equipment on site to protect workers from runaway drivers. The aunts also feel prosecutors didn't do enough to fight for Caitlin and Jax's justice. Bell's office says they understand the frustration but respect the grand jury's decision. Now the family reflects on Caitlin and the unborn Jax. Very generously she gave of her time to, to all of us and that's not forgotten and she goes missed every day. From the day that we knew that she was pregnant, she was totally in love. She just could not wait. So the family is still seeking civil, still pursuing civil litigation. So they're still trying to get justice that way. They're also say they're working with leaders in Jefferson City to create new laws to protect workers and hold people accountable when accidents like this happen. Now you can still see some Caitlin and the other victims legacy behind me. You see the crosses where this accident happened and that goes to show that the family is still loving them. The community is still loving them. They also have created an organization to help other grieving families families around the country cope with their loss. I'm Ryan Henson, five on your side. The dust